Hi everyone, in this video we'll do an unboxing, review and a bit of benchmarking of this Verbatim 2TB USB 3 external hard drive. Put some timings in the description below and we'll skip ahead to the review or benchmarking. First of all, we'll take a look at the box. So looking at the front of it, I've uh, got information about it here, so it's 2TB USB 3, super speed, that's backwardly compatible with USB 2. You've got some Nero backup and burn essential software included, so that presumably is for Windows only, and some energy saving software, and they're claiming it will be up to 10 times faster than standard USB 2. On the side here we've got its system requirements, and on the website it boasts Linux compatibility, however there's no mention of it there on the box, so it's just Windows 2000 XP Vista or 7, Mac OS 10.1 or higher, and requires a USB 2 or 3 port. The specifications about it being the capacity that 2 terabyte does not equal 2000 megabytes. No it doesn't because of binary numbers and I'm not going into that description right now. That is a bit complex. Data transfer rate is based on USB bus speeds. Now that's a completely confusing graph there. So claiming 5000 for USB 3. Yes, 5000 bits, which is not bytes. You can divide that by 8 immediately. And it's not the read write rate of a hard drive because they're not that fast. So I reckon the more realistic rate will be about 120 meg a second. That's not 5,000 bytes. Complete difference to that figure. Alright, on the back, so just a bit of information about it in various languages. Nothing too important there. So it says pack contents, USB 3 desktop hard drive, AC power adapter and a 60 centimeter cable. Alright, let's open it up. So it's nicely padded in here. We'll take some padded bag over it. Right, so there it is. It's just a matte black finish all around it. The case is metal. There's a black glossy front to it. A green LED in the middle. On the back, so that's just the USB 3 connector and a power supply and a little off switch. Vented underneath and at the back there. A little quick start guide. God, dear. It's a bit chunky but it is in various languages. Let's see if there's anything useful there. So it's pre-formatted to FAT32. So it's formatted in FAT32, which allows it to work in Windows or Mac, or even Linux, but I don't mention that. Just a bit of information really about how to use that Nero backup as well. Yeah, nothing too important. Another little box inside it. it has the AC power adapter and there's the USB cord as well. Yeah. The little adapters on here. So that's the UK one. So is that going to be European or American? I wonder. So that just clicks on, go over the middle, and snaps down. Alright, so I try out this Verbatim drive for the first time in Ubuntu. It's got the connect up power supply and plug it in. Right, there it is, switched on. It's got a green LED at the front to indicate that it's on. Has my system recognised it? Of course I don't need a drivers here in Linux, it's certain advantages compared to a certain other proprietary system. There it is around there, it's mounted. Got some rubbish pre-installed on it, an auto run program. Don't want to do that do I? So start and PC, got a manual, some software on here, so I suppose that's the Nero Green Button VHD formatter, Adobe Reader. All the things you don't really need. Let's just quick take a quick look at the manual. English PC formatter. Five pages of yeah, some junk. So let's talk about formatting 20fs and FAT32. Yeah, don't need to worry about that. And the PC green button. Important for this environmental stuff. And I won't have any use of this in Linux. 
So let's just go ahead and open the Disk Utility Program. Huh, it's a Samsung hard drive in there. Interesting. So it's yeah, USB 3, 705 megaseconds, that's USB 3 rate. Before we go and write anything to it, let's just do a benchmark on using this program. We'll start read only benchmark. Oh, so there's the benchmark used in the FAT32 that hit a peak rate of 140 megasecond. And read write rate is all over the place, which is pretty normal for a rotational hard drive. Solid state disk is a bit more of a single line. Not one of those, is it? Well, I'm going to format this. Different system. Yep, format it. And just got to create a single partition using extension 4. I'm just going to call it button. Because this is irrelevant for Windows. This is irrelevant for Windows and Mac systems. You use the file systems that are suitable for your OS. I like extension 4. It's quite a bit faster than NTFS. In fact, it's a vastly superior system to NTFS. Right, there it is. That's the drive formatted while I was sat here talking. Go and copy some data now. We'll see how quick it goes. So I'm just going to grab something off my videos drive and then take this selection of Star Wars DVDs, totaling 11 gig. And we'll copy that to that verbatim drive, straight there, let's see how fast it goes. So this is a different drive than I'm using to record the screencast, so that shouldn't affect the speed there. Yeah, that's going a bit of a rate, isn't it? It'll come up with the speed in a few seconds. So I'm anticipating it being over 100. Quality, 125 megasecond. a second. Sweet! So yeah, I can back up my whole system fairly quick. So that's going to be pretty good. And I've been desperate to get this external hard drive for a while. I've been running at risk, not being able to back up, and I also desperately need to rebuild my system. So I'm glad I've got it now. I can do a reinstall and keep all my data safe. God, look at that, it's 128 meg we've got up to here. Sweet. And yeah, I've grabbed four fairly large files, but if I was to grab the smaller files, like under one meg, obviously that rate will drop down, but same for any system really. If you're writing lots of small files, it takes longer than writing small, fewer large files. It's all about that read-write, the seek speed. That's the advantage of a solid state disk, you've got lots of small files. No problem there. Read-write rate's a lot quicker. You know, it peaks at about 130 meg a second and it's Near enough finished copying 11 gig so, quality. I'm quite pleased with that. That's uh, certainly a good purchase. This Verbatim USB 3 2 terabyte hard drive, good value for money. It's good that they put on that it's compatible with Linux. I mean, I know pretty much all USB 3 external drives will be, but it's nice to have a company that actually says it. So, yeah, I'd say happy with it. I just need to get on, back up my system and rebuild it. So thanks for watching, see you later.